Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we will be watching the Invincible special Adam Eve. I have my pink lights on to celebrate, my pink jacket on as well. I am so sorry that it took me so long to get around to making this reaction. I know that the special came out quite a bit ago, uh, so my apologies. I had wanted to go back and rewatch season one of Invincible before I watched this special, just because my memory is not all that great. And I also had an intuition that we would maybe run into either the original Guardians of the Globe or some lesser, lesser focused on characters from season one. And I just wanted to be in an invincible state of mind going into this. And can I just say, rewatching season one, knowing that Omni-Man is a Viltrumite, it makes me wonder how I didn't see it the first time I watched through. <laughs> I mean, it was such a big reveal. I suppose I can't be hard on myself for not knowing, but there's so much foreshadowing throughout season one and things that Omni-Man says and does. So I had just as much fun going back watching it for a second time as I did the first time. And now I'm ready to go. So without further ado, let us get watching Adam Eve. Just a little bit excited. Woo! Right out the gate. <laughs> hey, there we go. Knew they'd be showing up. You guys still say Dame in Atlantis? Back before Simpson lost his powers, I guess. Red Rush? Busy in Russia. Yeah, I'm sure Red Rush is busy in Russia. You've got a lot to learn about men! No interest. <laughs> oh my god. Just in time. Even just like seeing him on the screen stresses me out. I know how important this baby is. No, you didn't do anything wrong, Polly. I should have found another way. Turn your car around. No, the oh. facility's compromised. We can't risk it. The stress she's under. Bring her back now! Oh, this is about to be a gnarly birth scene if I know this show. <laughs> Woo! Uh. Uh. No, no. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> what turned it? Where? Where's the specimen? They didn't. They didn't survive. Search the hospital. Bad things just. They just happen. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Wilkins? We all thought she was gone, but she. She came back to us. Wow. You oh, got this golden A little different from the usual blood splatters. I'll take it. Oh, you have our number if you need anything. Don't worry, Mrs. Wilkins. We'll She's be fine. She's gonna get her powers while the babysitter's there. They got a bond, and they don't wanna. So, liquid. <laughs> Mercury's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, will you be my teacher? Believe it or not, that's magnesium. I have no idea what that is, but it looks super cool. This voice actor sounds familiar. She has these molecules memorized, like she could just see them in her head. I know he's been in something else I've seen. Well, I, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, and you should too, you guys. Oh, she's not gifted. She's just weird. Public school's fine. That's the nice. neighbor called me last week because she'd been staring at his tree for an hour. <gasps> huh? Oh, I don't like that. Now concentrate on maintaining your form. Is this Robot? Robot or Rudy, I guess is his chosen name now, which maybe was his name to begin with. All the kids there are so boring. They just want to be lawyers or doctors or astronauts or whatever. <laughs> Astronaut, how boring. They're just a bunch of freaks. They're freaks? Look at yourself. Isn't that why you belong there? Yo, this dad is so mean. I mean, I remember that from season one, but he's just very, very, very critical of her. Oh, 
so cool. Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, change back, change back, change! <laughs> She's crazy. Cream cheese and olive sandwich? Is that good? <gasps> Must not be good if she's changing it into something else. Now it's cherry. Try it. Ew, no. Try it. <laughs> she's not impressed at all. Just grossed out. Stop it. <gasps> it lets you. Stop. Stop. I said stop. Wait, I'm sorry. Val. Val. Oh, that's so sad. soundtrack and this show is always so good oh dang it <laughs> there you go girl silver linings squirrely 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 squirrel i wish you were a puppy girl you playing with fire now huh? oh! Girl, go inside. Lock the door. Creep. My brother in Christ. This is maybe not the best way to approach Sam. Ah! So fun! No! Get him out of Eve. Dude, I think it's a power pump, oh. girl. Shut <laughs> up. You shut up. Both of you shut up. Now. Ah! We're gonna leave them squirming like turtles on their backs. My guy, we need to work on our introductions. The military thinks you're dead. If they discover you're not, they'll come for you. You must stop ah! using. What? No, I can do things that matter. I can help people. She's always been so altruistic. Eve, mom. Oh? Where were you? Nowhere. I mean, I. Uh, we should try harder sometimes. Oh my gosh, she is trying so hard. Nice soul patch, bro. Ah, Makes cute. your face extra punchable. Oh my gosh, I love her outfit. <laughs> Early, go. Oh! You're just not made for this. I literally was. <laughs> Adam, because duh. Eve, because it's my middle name. Cute. Oh. No, the cape is cute. I'm a freaking badass. Not quite what I mean. Girl. When I heard the fighting, I was afraid you, you might be, be using your powers. Don't get too cocky. Trade you a burger for some answers. She loves burgers. Burger Mart! No way! Tell me about my parents. Been around for a while, then. She was a valued colleague. She volunteered her pregnancy for an experimental procedure. What procedures? We manipulated her amniotic fluid. I made plans to get her out, help her run away, but... She went into labor early. We saved you, but a normal life. That's that's all she would have wanted for you. I'm waiting for us to get hit with the super gory, invincible trademark wow. shit. And I have a bad feeling that might be what's about to come up. Oh. You're phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five. Each attempt less successful than the last. Oh. oh. Like we are. Ah! You 
actually like this monster? Good. No! I implanted a subconscious block to prevent you from altering living tissue. You were perfect, but with limits. I wasn't there to do the same with them. It's so sad. to save him? Adorable. Who... Who is that? Where do you think all your brothers and sisters came from? Oh, what the fuck? We both know she only had one use anyway. <laughs> wow. Monster! No! That was an accident. You murdered my whole family. Oh, you are so done. She's in the I see it all now. Every single molecule around us. I could touch them, taste them, control them. I could rearrange your cells to make you whole new people from the monsters you are. I defy you to even remember who I am. <clears throat> And where have you been? Adam, <laughs> wait. Don't stick up for her. She's late for her own birthday. Hey, like it or not, we're the only family you've got. Oh, God. She like made him nice looking. <laughs> it's really nice. Only one I've got. <laughs> it's all going to be okay. I promise. <laughs> I swear to God. Good question though. You're home early. Yeah, light day. Oh my God! Dad, look how young Dad, she Dad, look. Is. I'm gonna be duct tape man. Like, even if I don't get powers, I can just tie people up with duct tape. This is really sad, too. Knowing what happens to them. Now those dirty Dan writers pulled a fast one on me because I was expecting this to be visually hard to watch, like season one of Invincible, but it really wasn't it. It just was emotionally taxing. I can't believe that they kept the man alive. That is just the most disturbing thing. And the fact that Adam Eve had to see it and lost all of her brothers and sisters and Brandyworth all in the same day. Oh my gosh, and when she changed the picture frame at the end to make it so that she was surrounded by her original family and she made her brothers and sisters look like normal. My heart! Wow, yeah, I just, I did not expect that to be so emotional, which I guess was pretty foolish of me because the season finale of season one absolutely wrecked me. So I don't know why I was expecting any different. It was also crazy to see young Mark and young Debbie at the end, and then even to see Omni-Man struggling, knowing his purpose and what he's on earth for. We did get to see the OG Guardians of the Globe, but just for a brief moment, it was still cool to see them again. I think the saddest part of all this to me was to watch how alone Samantha was through all of this. Like she had to figure out her powers all by herself and she just was so resilient and smart and strong through everything. But nobody 
was there for her. Even her adoptive parents, like her dad's kind of a piece of shit, but her mom, who's very sweet to her, also just doesn't get it. So it makes me even more mad that when Adam Eve inevitably does meet her chosen family through, oh, why can't I remember their original name? Teen Teen? I don't know. When she meets Rex and Duplicate, that even they end up hurting her by sleeping together. I can see why she ran away to live alone in the woods. I think I'd be doing the same thing. Seeing this backstory also puts a lot more gravity, a lot more weight on Adam Eve as a character, and it makes her decision towards the end of season one to run away from home, to live in a tree house, which I think is arguably where her happiest memories were formed as a child, and to be this altruistic superhero makes so much more sense. And it makes me happy for her because she's doing what she always wanted to do with her powers. The last thing I'll say before I hop off of here is that I did think I noticed a jump in animation quality in this special. Especially going from having just rewatched season one to watching this special, things felt a lot more smooth. Some of the shots too, especially during the fight sequence, felt a lot more intricate than we saw during season one, which makes me even more excited for when season two of Invincible does drop. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to the full-length reaction to this special, head on over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.